Hi there, lively golfers. Today's video is going to be about the upcoming version 5.5. Now, 5.5 is a significant milestone in the sense that we're rebuilding our app from the ground up. Um, the goal is to simplify some things and then provide enhanced functionality on a number of things that you guys have been asking for. Um, now, in order to be a beta tester, uh, we recommend that you have at least an iPad Air 2. And, um, it's going to be only available on iOS. Uh, we're going to release the Android version once we finished the iOS version. And in the future, that's probably going to be the case because we find that a lot of our users are on iOS. So now get started. One of the main features that we've built is the ability to rotate your interface from landscape mode into portrait mode. So this doesn't sound like it's that big of a deal, but actually when you combine it with our recently released Live Pod 2, which allows us to tilt the uh, camera at a 90 degree angle, we can now actually put the camera into portrait mode as well. And by doing that, it actually reduces the distance that you need um, between the camera and yourself uh, to take a full swing video. I can now take the camera from what was formerly uh, almost seven feet from where my ball was to probably inside four feet. So I'm taking three feet off the distance that I need in order to take a full swing video of myself. So now you can see, I can see my feet. I have enough room at the top to take a full extension of the club. As I'm coming down, I can still see everything. So this is a huge improvement over um, what we had before, just in terms of people who need to use it either in tight spaces or in a narrow driving range stall. The second feature that I wanted to talk about was the ability to add a reference video to compare yourself either to uh, a professional swing that you're looking to emulate on the internet or maybe even an old lesson video that you want to just make sure that you're still doing everything that your coach asked you to do during your last session. So in order to do that, we now have the ability to split our screen. And from there, I can actually add a second video. And in this particular case, I have a video of Adam Scott that I've pulled up from both downline and front facing. Um, now I can just add that into my live feed. So now I can actually watch Adam swing side by side to my own. And now as I'm practicing, I actually try and hold the same positions that Adam Scott's holding. I can make sure I get the same width that he's, he's getting, getting a knife, getting that shoulder tucked under, getting a full shoulder turn and trying to stay stable just the way Adam Scott is on the way down, letting everything fall, holding that lag so that we have that nice turn. Those are some of the new features that are coming in the latest release of our app. We hope you'll have as much fun using these new features as we had making them. Just remember, always practice perfectly.